Hello and welcome back to another Yoga Flow with me, Kat Methan. So let's get started. We've got a one hour vinyasa flow today. Um, I'd say that this is more for an intermediate level, but if you're new to your yoga practice, you're more than welcome to give it a go and just see how you get on. The most important thing is to stick with the breath and listen to your body. And you can take child's pose at any time this gets too much. And that's about it from me. So without further ado, let's come down to a comfortable seated position just placing the backs of the hands on the knees just for a moment before we work into some breathing. Grow a little bit taller through the crown of the head, really lengthening through the spine. And the breath work that we're about to do will just be equal inhalations and exhalations. So bring the hands to the tummy and we're going for four counts in and out. So we'll inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four. Awesome, release the hands onto the knees. Just let the breath soften. Then we'll drop the head over to the left side. And then take half neck circles, so down through the middle, chin to chest. And then we inhale as we work all the way up to each shoulder. So we're not going round the back, we're just coming down through center on an exhale and inhaling ear to shoulder. Working in your own time, going through a couple more of these. Staying with the breath. Last time. And then bring the head all the way up to neutral. Placing the left hand down, right arm sweeps up and we come to a little side stretch. Create space in the side of the body. So the right side of the body, early on in our practice, maybe feeling it crack open a little bit. Breathing into the side body. And come back through center, place the right hand down, left arm sweeps up into our side stretch. Again, feeling the breath create space in the side of the body. Coming back now through center, release the hands. And take the arms out deep in front so you're hugging a big beach ball round the spine. Breathe here. And on an inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Lift the chest and then exhale round the spine and push the hands away. Inhale, take the arms all the way up to the sky, lift the chest. Exhale, push the hands away, round the spine. Inhale, take the arms high. Exhale, round the spine. Beautiful, come back to neutral and then roll over the knees and come to an all fours position. Making sure the elbow and the wrist and shoulder are nicely stacked. And then we'll inhale, lift the chest, exhale, round the spine. So working through our cow and our cat postures, inhale, lift the chest, 
Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lift, nice and slow. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, come back to neutral. And then we'll open the right arm all the way out to the sky. So we're lifting through the chest. And then we'll take the left leg away and we can open even more. Maybe taking that right arm down towards the leg and push through the left heel. Coming all the way back, place the hand and the knee back down. This time we'll open up to the left side, so left arm sweeps high up to the ceiling. And then the option again of taking the right foot away this time, and we can find an even deeper twist here, pushing out through the back foot, lifting the heart. And release the left hand down. Knee comes down as well. And then we'll work around in these circular motions with the torso. This is one of my favorite things to do. It really, really helps sort of get into all those little nooks and corners of the torso. So going round in one direction and then going the other. And when you're done there, place the hands down, tuck under the toes and fly the bottom high for our first downward facing dog. Pedaling out slowly through the feet. Engaging your ujjayi breath, if that's something that you work with in your vinyasa practice. If not, just deep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Holding it here. Finding some stillness. And then on your next inhale, just step the feet towards the hands. Feet about hip width apart here and we'll take hold of opposite elbows. And you can sway gently side to side in rag doll if that feels good for you. And another option would be to interlace the hands behind the back and then let the arms drop all the way over. And then you can alternately take the right knee to the right shoulder, left knee to left shoulder as we open out this stretch working so many parts of the body. Hopefully you're feeling as good as I did when I ever, whenever I do this. And then slowly release the hands, drop the hands down to the mat and peel the body up bone by bone, head and neck come last, all the way to standing. And we're going to work through our sun salutations, so Surya Namaskar A and B, three of each. First of all, coming to Tadasana and finding your ground in the feet, maybe picking up the toes, spreading them down into the mat. And then when you're ready, take the hands down to the side and we'll begin. Inhale the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, option of bending the knees. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, step back to high plank. Let's all lower down to the knees for our first one, lowering all the way down to the floor. Inhale, high cobra, elbows in. Exhale, tuck under the toes, fly the bottom back for downward facing dog. So breathing here, inhale, right leg goes all the way up, open out through the hip. So option of bending that top knee. And then slowly start to straighten that leg, the right leg, and then release it all the way down to the mat. On your next inhale, sweep the left leg really high. Option of bending that top knee, opening out through the hips. 
creating as much space as possible in that area. And then straighten the leg, exhale all the way down to the mat. On your next inhale, either step or hop the feet to the hands, lifting the chest halfway, create space, exhale, fold over the legs, and then inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, and exhale, release. <clears throat> inhale, arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, either jump or step back. Option of coming down through Chaturanga or to the knees. High Cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. So for those of you that aren't familiar necessarily with Chaturanga, I recommend you do the same as we did on the first one, which was coming down to the knees and then lowering all the way down to the mat with the elbows in. Those of you that have Chaturanga in your practice, let's do this. Holding here in downward facing dog, one more breath. And then when you're ready, jump or step the feet to the hands, lifting the chest halfway. Exhale, fold over both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And then exhale down through heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, palms together, forward fold, release the neck. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, place the hands down, step or jump back, chaturanga or through the knees. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing here, bringing the attention to your hands, spreading through the fingers, really rooting down through the, th the thumb and the index finger. And then drawing the heels down towards the earth. On your next inhale, either step or jump the feet to the hands. Lift the chest halfway. Exhale, fold over both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. And then exhale down through heart center. Beautiful. Ready for Surya Namaskar B. So finding Utkatasana now as we hinge at the hips, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, prepare. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga, or to the knees. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward, right foot, come to find warrior one, reach the arms high. Taking an extra few breaths here. Option of coming up onto the ball of the back foot if pivoting the foot feels a bit icky for you. And then framing the front foot, step back, lower down to the knees or chaturanga, high cobra, upward facing dog, and then downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward, left foot, come to find warrior one, reach the arms up. On the next exhale, we'll take the arms all the way down, frame the foot. Step back to high plank, low down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog and breathe here. Find some stillness in the body now. Coming back to that ujjayi breath in case you lost connection. On your next inhale, step or jump the feet to the hands, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, folding over both legs. Inhale, find Utkatasana, hinge at the hips, arms come high. Relax the shoulders, exhale down through heart center. Again, inhale Utkatasana. Exhale Uttanasana. Inhale, prepare, create space. Exhale, jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward, right foot. 
Same options apply. Reach the arms high on the inhale. Exhale, frame the foot. Step all the way back. Lower down either chaturanga or to the knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot comes forward for the warrior one. Exhale, hands come down. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Like I said at the start, if this ever gets a little too much or it's at too fast of a pace for you, child's pose is always an option. Those of you still with me, let's breathe here. Inhaling deeply, exhaling fully. When you're ready, step or jump the feet to the hands, lifting the chest halfway. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Utkatasana, lifting the arms. Exhale, down through heart center. Last time, inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, prepare. Exhale, place the hands, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward, warrior one, right foot. Reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, frame the foot as we come back, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward, left foot this time. Come to find your warrior one, reach the arms high. On your exhale, framing the foot, step back, high plank, lower down, elbows in and chaturanga. Upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog and breathe here. Really push out through those shoulders, through the hands, drawing the heels down. On your next inhale, step or jump the feet to the hands, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, fold over both legs. And then inhale as you heel toe the feet out and take the two piece fingers around the big toes. Lift the chest, prepare, and then exhale, elbows come out to the sides and we forward fold. So always the option in these forward folds of bending through the knees. Breathing here, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, come to fingertips and heel toe the feet together. And then as we reach all the way up, come to Utkatasana and then exhale down through heart center. Okay, so set the foundations here again, just finding some centering in the feet. And we're gonna take the weight over into the right foot as we lift the left knee and can interlace the hands over the left knee and draw the knee into the chest and then circle the left ankle one way and then the other just loosening through the joint and then when you've done that come to find Vrikshasana so tree pose either having the sole of the foot on the inside of the thigh or the inside of the calf palms come together Inhale, exhale, staying with that breath. Option of staying here or take the arms up to the ceiling. You can take the gaze with the hands. And then another option, either staying here or take the left hand onto the left knee and we'll find a nice side stretch here. Creating space in the right side of the body. On an inhale, bring the arms all the way up to the sky and then exhale down to heart center. So without putting the foot down, start to release the foot and send the leg all the way out in front of you. So as high as you can take it, keeping the spine long, point through the toes. 
holding it here, really working into the quad. And then we'll slowly work the foot all the way through to come to find warrior three, trying not to put that foot down. So warrior three, chest is coming forward. Hands are at heart center, square off the hips. Flex the foot, push away with the heel. And then when you're ready, release the hands, windmill the arms open, come to find warrior two. So make sure your stance is wide enough. Back heel is aligned with the back of the mat, front foot facing forwards. Arms coming all the way out, have energy through the fingers as we gaze towards our front hand. Breathe here, inhaling and exhaling. On an inhale, let's straighten the leg and start to reach really far forwards, Trikonasana. Exhale, take the left arm all the way up to the sky. And if you can take the gaze there too, that's great. So you may not be able to come as low as this and that's absolutely fine. It's not about how low you get. You can place the hand at any height on the leg and just be a bit more lifted ready for half moon so power through the right leg placing the fingertips down and see if you can find half moon opening out through the hips left arm is still up towards the sky just see how you get on here there might be a few wobbles but that's all part of the fun With control, start to release the left arm down to the mat. And then come into a standing split. So taking that left leg as high as it will go. Inhaling and exhaling. Again, doesn't matter if you have a little wobble. When you're ready, slowly release down. Step the foot back and then reach the right leg all the way up into a three-leg dog. So that was the foot that was at the front. I took it all the way back and then we'll come into wild thing. So the right leg has flipped over. We're lifting the chest high. Right hand comes down, right leg goes back to a three leg dog and then bring the right leg all the way to the outside of the left hand and then reach the left arm up, really taking that chest high towards the sky. Another one of my favorite postures here. Slowly unraveling, place the left hand down. Right foot comes to the outside of the right hand and then we'll come into lizard. So coming, bringing the knee down if you wish. Either staying up on the hands if that's enough for you or coming down to the forearms. Option of placing the right hand on the right knee, finding a little bit of a twist here, gazing up to the sky. Inhale and exhale. Hopefully feeling a little bit of energy now, maybe a bit of fire building in the body, a bit of heat. And then from here, we're going to step that right foot all the way back and we're in a low Vashistasana now on the forearm. Really lift the hips high, right arm is up in the air, hold it if you can. I know this is a tough pose, super strong in the body. One more breath and then release the right hand down, come back to a high plank and then roll it back to a downward facing dog. Beautiful guys, well done for staying with me. When you're ready on an inhale, step or jump the feet to the hands, lift the chest halfway. 
Exhale, fold over both legs and then gently peel the body all the way up to standing, head and neck come last. We have two legs, which means we must go again on the other side. So this time picking the right knee up, hugging that right knee into the chest, maybe circling the ankle one way and then the other. And then when you're ready, placing the sole of the foot either on the inside of the thigh or the inside of the calf, just making sure it's never on the knee. Coming to Vrikshasana tree pose. Palms of the hands at heart center. Draw a little bit taller through the crown of the head. Breathing here. And on an inhale, the option of taking the arms up high, gaze going with it. Remember that hands at heart center is a great place to be. Only if you want to go further, we'll take the right hand onto the right knee and come into that side stretch. I apologize, you can't quite see it from this angle on the video, but I've got the side stretch to the right, opening out through the left side of the body. From here, reaching that right arm back up to center, and then exhale the palms down through heart center and keep them here as we release the right foot and send the right leg out long, pointing through the right toes. One more breath. I know this one's a little bit tricky. <laughs> and then we'll take that right leg all the way through and we'll come to find warrior three. So standing on the left leg, right leg is out long, square off the hips. Some nice deep Ujjayi breaths here. And then on your next inhale, taking the back foot down. So we're coming into a left leg warrior two. You might need to lengthen your stance a little bit. Arms are out long, energy drawing through the fingertips, through the feet into the earth and out through the crown of the head. Gazing towards the front hand. Pushing out with that front knee, trying not to let anything collapse. Okay, straightening the knees and then on inhale, reach forward and then exhale. Right arm comes up to the sky, Trikonasana. Remember, you don't need to be as deep as you see me on the screen. This is, these are my limits, my body. You do what works for you. If you need to be much higher than this, then that is great for your body. You've just got to listen. Okay, now powering through that left leg, fingertips come down, opening out into half moon. Nice, reaching the right arm all the way up to the sky. Opening through the chest. And then when you're ready, release the right hand down. Wobbling is a good thing, guys. <laughs> it's fine. Coming into our standing split. So drawing the head towards that standing leg. Sending the uh, left, uh, right leg even all the way up to the sky. One more breath here. Great, and then step the top leg all the way back. So right foot comes down, left leg goes up. We find a three leg dog. Open out through the hip of the top leg and come all the way over, flip it over into wild thing. Lift through the hips and the heart.
and then take the left leg all the way back up, left hand comes down, and then we'll thread the left leg through to the right hand, and then the right arm comes off the mat, and we open out again into this sort of open split here. Staying super strong and supportive. Place the right hand back down. Take the left hand to the outside of the left, sorry, the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Option of coming down to forearms and dropping the back knee down. Wherever feels good for you in lizard. Option of opening the chest by putting the left hand on the left knee and just putting a little bit of pressure into the left knee, opening through the hip a little bit more. Inhaling and exhaling. Slowly now start to release. And we're coming into that Vashistasana low side plank. So we're on the right arm, left arm is up high, we lift through the hips. You've got the left leg stacked on top of the right. Inhale, exhale. It's tempting always to hold the breath when you're in a challenging posture, but really we need to keep moving with the breath. Place the left hand down, push up into a plank and then roll back, exhale to downward facing dog. Beautiful. So from our downward facing dog, we're going to hop or step the feet through to a seated position and take the legs out long in front of you, Paschimottanasana. So a nice deep forward fold here. So keeping the legs active, flex the feet, inhale, take the arms long. And then exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips. So focusing here on keeping the spine nice and straight rather than how low down you can get. Always the option of sitting on a block. Inhaling and exhaling. Maybe on your next inhale, lift the chest a little bit. And then as you exhale, take it a little bit deeper. One more breath, maybe two, just one. <laughs> inhale, come all the way up. And then bring the legs up into Navasana and we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So take the left hand around the left foot, right hand around the right. Right leg goes up long, left leg stays bent. So find your balance just here for a moment. Excuse me while I just move up my mat. And then from here, we're gonna come back to a one leg shoulder stand. So the right leg is back in Halasana plow pose and the left leg is all the way up to the sky. So we're split. Breathe here. Make sure you don't move the neck. Just listen to the words that I'm telling you rather than trying to look at the screen. So now coming all the way back to that original position, gotta find the balance on the sit bones as we rock forwards. And then come back to Navasana boat pose. Working now through a vinyasa, jump the feet back, come down through chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog. Beautiful. On your next inhale, jump or step the feet through to a seated position. And then take the legs out long. We're gonna to come to Purvatanasana. So if you prefer to take tabletop with the knees bent, by all means do. For those of you coming with me to Purvatanasana, take the hands about a hand's distance behind you. You really wanna ground the feet down into the mat as we lift up through the chest. Option of dropping the head the whole way back. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. 
exhale, inhale, and then exhale, release the bottom down, head releases last. Coming back to Navasana, so this time we're switching the grip. So it's the left leg that goes long and the right leg that stays bent. Finding your balance here first before we rock back to our split shoulder stand. When you're ready, take the bottom all the way up. Find that momentum. So this time the right leg is up high to the sky and the left leg is down in this sort of plow halasana position. Again, being sure not to move the head, keeping the neck aligned. And then when you're ready, start to roll all the way back. Find the balance on the sit bones. Left leg is long and right leg is bent, holding the heels. And then when you're done, coming back to Navasana with the arms out long. And then we'll take a vinyasa, so this time crossing left foot over right foot, or whichever one you didn't cross last time. Hopping all the way back through, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing here. From our downward facing dog, we're just going to take the right leg all the way up, and then exhale it through, coming to pigeon. So using a block underneath the bottom, if that works well for you. If not, just placing here. And we can give ourselves a really nice self-adjust. So the right hand comes onto the right thigh, and the left hand comes to the left hip. And we just try give ourselves a little pressure to try and square off through the hips. It feels really, really good. If you're up on a block, it might not feel as nice because you're gonna be pressing down into the block, which might be a bit uncomfortable. When you're ready, release the hands and just walk forwards. Take the forehead onto the backs of the hands. And if not, just coming onto the forearms and just close off the eyes. We're going to find some silence and stillness here in the body. Just inhaling and exhaling, staying with the breath. Few more breaths here. And then slowly, carefully and controlled, Start to lift yourself all the way up and out of the forward fold. Place the fingertips down beside you and just lift up through the chest for a moment. And then release the hips. So we're coming round into a straddle, but with the right leg bent in, we're going to take a side stretch. So the left leg is straight and we're taking the right arm all the way up and over. Again, breathing into the side body, creating space within the torso. And release. And then let's open the heart and take that, get, find a little bit of expression in your yoga. Lift the heart and the hips forward. The left arm swings back. 
and then placing both hands down. You might need to wiggle the back foot a bit as we come back to our three leg dog. The right leg is lifted and then we release. Time to go left side. So lifting up the left leg when you're ready. And then bringing it all the way through. The knee comes towards the left hand. And we come to find our pigeon on the left side. Again, giving yourself that set, that nice assist. Pressing down a little bit, trying to square off the hips. It's just an option. You don't have to take this. And then in your own time, releasing the assist, walking the hands all the way forwards or coming onto the forearms, closing off the eyes, letting the head drop down, release any tension through the neck. I'm going to stay here for a little while, finding that stillness in the body. few more breaths here. And then carefully start to walk yourself all the way up again, placing the fingertips down by the side of you, lifting through the chest slightly. And then coming to find that straddle position. So this time the right leg is out long, but then the left leg is bent in towards the, um, the inner thigh of the right leg. It doesn't need to be touching. And then we'll take a side stretch over to the right leg. Again, guys, don't worry about how low you go in these postures. It's all about what works best for you. Coming all the way back out, placing the left hand behind you, reaching that right arm all the way up and around as we push out through the chest and the hips. Finding some space in the heart. And then placing the right hand down, maybe needing to wiggle that back foot back a bit as we take the left leg high back to our three leg dog. And then softly lower the leg down. Breathing here. When you're ready, jumping the feet all the way through to a seated position. And we'll just come into a, some twists now before we wind down our practice with a closing sequence. So take the left hand to the feet. The feet are together, we're in a Baddha but we're taking a twist here in Baddha So right hand is behind you as we draw the chest all the way around, gazing towards the back of the room.
And slowly releasing, now taking the right hand to the feet. That's where we use our resistance, the pressure. Take the left hand to the back and then find that twist, still, still breathing, gazing towards the back of the room. Inhaling and exhaling here. Coming out of your twist now. Maybe just having a little wiggle with the shoulders. Release any tension. And then soles of the feet together. Let's fold forward in our Baddha So trying to keep a straight spine. Again, not worrying about how low you might go in this posture. Even if you're staying upright, but you can feel it in the groin. Then you're in the right place. The right place for you. few more breaths. Slowly coming out of your Baddha take the hands to the outsides of the knees, draw the knees into the chest, Feet about hip width apart, take the arms out long as we lower slowly all the way down to the mat. And we're going to come into a nice shoulder stand, taking 10 deep breaths in shoulder stand. So when you're ready, taking the feet all the way up into the air and then rocking back, catching the back of the body or the actual back. <laughs> Again, keeping the neck super straight in these postures. When the chin is compressed down onto the chest, the last thing we want to do is to start, you know, drastically moving it around. Pointing the toes, option of closing off the eyes here, or gazing to the belly and watching the belly rise and fall with each breath. Staying with the breath. And then taking the legs all the way over, coming to find plow pose, halasana. Tops of the feet are down on your mat or on the floor behind you. You can keep the hands interlaced behind the back. That's something I quite like to do. Or you can just have them loose. And then from here, the option of Karnapindasana ear pressure pose, where the knees come down by the sides of the ears and we add a little bit of pressure. If this doesn't feel good for you, because I know for a lot of my students it doesn't, you can just slowly make your way down to the mat and come straight into Matsyasana fish pose as your counter pose. Those of you still in Karnapindasana, just stay here one more breath. Maybe two. <laughs> And then really carefully and slowly, bone by bone, we work ourselves down to the mat. Hands come just beside the bottom, slightly underneath. Take the legs down long. And then lift through the chest. So coming up onto the elbows as we lift through the chest. And we open out through the throat. Head drops back. Breathing nice and deep here. Inhaling fully and exhaling fully.
and then softly, gently lowering down. Draw the knees into the chest. Take hold of opposite, no sorry, not opposite, just take hold of the outsides of the feet and we'll come to find happy baby. So drawing those knees down by the side of the body, almost towards the armpits. Close off the eyes here. Really winding down now towards the end of the, our session together. A few more breaths. We'll start to release the feet and we just take some spinal twists. Arms come out either fully into a T-shape or into cactus like I've got here. And then we'll drop the knees over to the left side and the head goes over to the right. Option of taking an extra twist so the bottom foot comes above the top knee just to add a bit more pressure but it's just an option. You can stay with both knees together here. And then still with the eyes closed, draw the knees back through center. And then drop the knees over to the right side, head goes over to the left, same options apply. You can take the bottom foot on top of the, uh, the top knee for some added pressure, but no need to force it. Keeping the eyes closed, looking inwards. Slowly start to release. Draw the knees into the chest. One final little hug. And then when you're ready, come to find Shavasana. So, you know, you can take the legs out long. Feet come to the corners of the mat. Let the feet drop open. Or you can take a similar variation to what I've got here. So where the feet are at the outside of the mat, but we've got the knees bent upwards and the knees fall together. This is purely because sometimes my lower spine gets a bit icky and I really want to feel it release down into the mat. This is just an option. Coming into normal Shavasana is awesome. Palms of the hands facing upwards. Close off the eyes. And we're really going to chill out here for a while. Just scan the body with the breath. Releasing each part of the body down into the ground as you work your way all the way from the feet up to the head. Knowing that our relaxation is one of the most important parts of our asana practice. So stay here with me. I know you've probably all got things to do but it's super important. We work through this part releasing the body.
bringing the mind now back into the physical body. Maybe giving the fingers and the toes a little wiggle, circling the ankles and the wrists. Whatever feels good for you. And then when you're ready, in your own time, super slow, rolling over to the right side and just pausing here for a moment. One of my favorite places to be at the end of a yoga class in this fetal position. It feels so safe. And then in your own time, making your way up to a comfortable seated position. Close off the eyes and take the hands to heart center. So those of you that are new here, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you hit to subscribe. So you get a new yoga class every week and then a Wednesday video as well. Thank you all so much for staying with me. You were absolutely amazing. Bow the head to the hands. Salute your practice. Namaste. Thank you.